Good day to you people. Uh, I'm just going to be talking about um, Tato Electronics. I've just made my first order with them and I've uh, got a variety of parts. Um, I'm just going to show you what sort of quality you get from them and um, just my general impression with the order. Uh, firstly, the order took about uh, 12 days to arrive, which is uh, not really here nor there. I'm, I'm used to a couple of weeks from FutureLek. Um, so yeah, there's not really much difference with that. The price is very cheap. If you have a look on their website, you'll see that their um, their prices are uh, very very cheap. They're even cheaper than future, like in a lot of um, in a lot of cases. To start off, the packaging is uh, a step up from what I'm used to being future. Like they come in these little plastic bags, and you've got to rip them open. These stapled plastic bags, and it's quite annoying. These come in their own little. Um, Ziploc bag that you can um, reuse which is pretty good and on the front they've labeled it nice and clearly so you know what is what again with future like sometimes some things are a little bit um, confusing as to what the actual component is inside the bag start off with one of the most common pedal parts that uh, we pedal builders buy is the three pole double throw switch it was three dollars which is um, which is a pretty good price uh, I'm, uh, I'm not totally sure if I like them or not though, they, I'm, uh, I don't know if it's my imagination but they feel a little bit crunchy um, compared to um, some of the other ones that I've used, that just feels so much smoother but um, yeah I'm not sure, it could be my imagination actually, I think um, they're probably just the standard three, three pole double throw switches, I think it's just in my head. Another component that I've got from them is the, is the knobs. I've bought a, a range of different colours, and um, they're just the standard Davies um, standard Davies knobs. There's nothing special or better or worse about them. They're just they're just the standard um, standard issue Davies knob. The DC jacks look pretty normal to me too. I don't see anything different about them. They've got the same sort of feel. Um, yeah, the, there's nothing, uh, they're, they're just the standard DC jack, so yeah, there's nothing to worry about with them either, they're just normal. The defused red LEDs are, are very cheap, they're only two cents each. Now for something a little bit different, um, the pots, they come with the plastic backs on them. If you're new to um, building guitar pedals, that can be handy because the generally the back of the the back of your board sits on top and uh, underneath the board you've got all your solder joints and you can basically they stop things from being shorted out so it's kind of like a protective cover so um, yeah that's a that's a nice um, nice touch they throw those the um, the clear uh, the plastic covers in and um, again they're cheap they're only like pretty sure they're about 50 cents each so they're even cheaper than future like the jacks are pretty much what I'm used to. Um, if you're buying Switchcraft jacks uh, or Nutric jacks, you're, you're going to notice probably a difference with these. I wouldn't know because I've never bought uh, either Switchcraft, Switchcraft or Nutric, so I wouldn't know the difference. These are just pretty much standard from what I'm used to, just the standard economy jacks. With the resistors, I'd actually read this on the forums and it appears to be correct. It's a bit of a mixed bag as to whether you get a thick uh, a thick lead resistor or a thin lead. Like that's a thick lead um, resistor, and that's a thin one. Um, and they, and see, they're both metal film. There's there's no there's no sense to it. That's just pretty much whatever you get. Um, for, I don't, I personally don't really care whether they're thin or thick. It would be nice if they were thick, but it doesn't bother me that much. Once they're in, they're in the board anyway, so I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't really phase me um, uh, a terrible amount. But yeah, if you don't like the thin lead ones, then um, you're not going to know which one you're going to get when you order the resistors. The capacitors are incredibly cheap. Um, I stocked up on um, one microfarad, 10 microfarad, and 100 microfarad. I think it was. Yeah. Oh, I actually got 47 microfarad as well. Um, because they're just they're two cents each, it's just crazy. I just thought, oh, I'm just going to order a whole bunch of these and um, and be done with it. Um, it should last me for a while. Um, and they are Chang brand, I believe. This one's different, but the other ones were Chang. Uh, they're actually a variety of different brands. This one says Chong. This one says uh, T Tipo. Um, this one says Chang, 
So, um, yeah, I oh, know, sorry. Yeah, oh, uh, there's both Chang and Chong in that one, so <laughs> Chang and Chong. Hang on a sec. Chang and Chong, yep. Uh, yeah, so there's two different ones in that one. I don't know if it makes any difference uh, for me personally. You know, electrolytics and electrolytic, if you ask me, but um, yeah, just something for um, if brand matters to you, you're, um, you're, not, you're just going to get um, random ones for them as well. And uh, another thing um, is the uh, switches. Um, I haven't sold it onto it yet, obviously, but it appears, if I had to take a guess, that these won't, the, the, um, the uh, solder lugs won't melt. They don't look like the cheap ones from Futurelec. That's a cheap one from Futurelec. Have a look at that lug. It's already fallen into the into the um, into the housing of the switch. Absolute rubbish. Don't bother buying these switches from Futurelec. They're crap. These look much better. Um, in fact, I've got some quality ones that I've been using for quite a while, and they look pretty much the same. You can see that's different. It's got um, it's a two pole double throw. Uh, yeah, and they look pretty much the same. So I'm anticipating that they're going to be uh, uh, good quality lugs, um, like the ones I've been using. Oh, one thing um, I forgot to mention actually with the um, pots, they are alpha, um, which is pretty much the standard. They're decent, um, oh, good quality pots uh, as well. And the ceramics, um, uh, again, for me, uh, look, a ceramic is a ceramic. It, they've got thin little um, le leads on them. I haven't really seen anything different than that anyway, so uh, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's one and the same for me, but um, yeah, if, if it matters to you, yeah, they are. They've got thin um, leads on them. So that's just the general impressions of um, the order. Uh, and some of the components, as you see, there's a bit of a variety I, I'd ordered, um, so I thought it would be a good um, uh, opportunity to show you uh, just, you know, like what you actually get with them at this present time. Um, I, some of the issues I've had with Futurelec is the, um, if something's not in stock, they just back order the entire order and they don't even tell you that it's back ordered. I had a, I had a order back ordered for three months I, I, there was a confusion with the order. I had a couple of orders going and um, I, was, I was talking to them about it and we are talking about the wrong order. But that aside, it was just ridiculous. It went on for three months before I actually got the order. So I, that's left a bad taste in my mouth. I mean, they're still good. I, I mean, you know, like they're, they're, they're cheap and um, assuming everything's in stock, you'll, you'll, you'll get it within a couple of weeks, just like these guys. But I, I just don't see the point using them anymore. These guys are cheaper. And they've got pretty much everything the future left have got and the packaging's better and it's clearly labeled so I think I'll just be ordering with um, Tata from now on so yeah that's just my general impression and um, uh, yeah good luck with your orders and your bills